I have 15 bullets. Whoever has this big base, I'm sure has a lot more bullets. And probably an assault rifle as well. Maybe if we can't get in it, we can just take all the resources around it just to annoy him. Whoa! Hello, friendos, and welcome to a game called Memories of Mars. It's just been released on Steam Early Access. It's a new survival game, and it looks really, really cool, so I wanted to check it out. Um, there's a lot of different sort of survival mechanics in there that we're going to go through once we actually get into a game. At the moment, I think it's just, um, I think it's just PvP servers, but I, I think they're trying to put in... Uh, PV at some point that could be a total lie. Maybe don't listen to me right now uh, I have already jumped into a server just to check it out and see what's actually going on um, So in this case, we're gonna join a totally new one so that we can do a fresh start Let's join the one that's most populated obviously and hopefully this is EU and jump in it Nice I actually skipped this the first time I played through it So I don't really know exactly what what is even happening here Okay, we got three needles. There's definitely some some kind of narcotics involved in the get. Whoa! Okay. Spiders? Nope. Nope. I'm out. I don't. I don't like mechanical spiders, dude. That's like, why do all games have to have spiders in them? This looks really cool, though, does it not? Whoa. Like, don't get me wrong, I know that it's a video. I know it's a cutscene, but the graphics look really, really good. Okay, yeah, definitely narcotics. Definitely narcotics going on here. Don't take it out, man. It'll feel good, trust. Oh. Well, that doesn't look great. Obviously, some things have happened here, and uh, and things aren't happening. This is bad things. Mass ejection. Okay, so this is like the the starter area. This is like you're safe here. So oh, I wanna I wanna see what's going. Coronal mass ejection. Okay, that does sound very wrong. So. Wait, so it, that's days, months, is that? I don't know what that's talking about. I don't know if that's talking about anything in particular. I don't know if I missed anything when I la when I first did this. Um, I just want to have a little look around and see what's actually going on. Because um, it does look really, really fun. Uh, and there's some... Whoa! Oh, no. Dead guy. Hey, dead guy. Do you have anything I can have, Mr. Dead guy? Dead guy? No? Oh. Cool! Flashlight, there we go. So I think we're clone. Oh, you're alive, buddy. I will get you out of there. Don't you worry. I'm gonna get you out. Don't you worry, Francis. I got you, buddy. Okay, you know what? I don't think I'm gonna be able to get you out. Are you gonna be okay in there? Yeah? Okay, I'm gonna leave you in there. Look, you're surrounded by your. What was that? I don't know what that was. Ooh. Pick up mobile 3D printer. Uh, so that's the thing that we use to craft stuff. So oh, you're alive as well. Hey, buddy. Um, I wish I could open these. That would be really cool. Okay. Uh, oh, I don't think we've missed anything in here. To be honest, we, we probably, probably, oh no, we got to pick up the helmet. There we go. And now we have the epic moment where I put my helmet on and I become a moon. There we go. That's a really cool touch, though. I was waiting for that bit to happen. Obviously, I knew that was going to happen, right? So, like, yeah, just... And all the UI comes up. Right, let's do it. So, we basically have three spawn points, east, south, and west. I don't know if we can go anywhere, like, on here. I don't know if this is just the only playable area. It looks a little bit small to me, but we're going to go with it anyway. Uh, I reckon we go south because it's bigger. Uh, and hope that we don't get insta-wrecked by other players that have been playing since it came out and have all got guns and stuff. Alright, this is it. And it looks really good, man. Look at the skybox and stuff. It looks... Okay, maybe the moon doesn't look so good up there. I don't know if that... Maybe that's not the moon. Maybe that's just a floating rock. I don't know. But either way, all of the... Hey, is this... Oh, I think this is just the thing you spawn on. But it does look cool, does it not? There was another game on Steam that came out that was, um... I want to say similar in that it's a, um... It's a... 
survival game, but I, I, I can't remember what it was called. It was like Rock or Roke or something like that. Um, but I think it was it was a little bit too realistic for me. This seems a little bit more kind of fast paced and you know action packed. There's satellites up there. This looks awesome, dude. Like I'm re I'm liking this already. This looks great. I know I always say I always say this. I really like this game. It's great. Um, before even really getting into it, but it feels good. It it feels kind of like just it feels realistic. It feels like I'm I'm able to get places quick. And I'm sure there's going to be a lot of ore around somewhere for me to, co to collect. Because this is basically the first thing we want to do. There are no trees on Mars, by the way. I should have mentioned this. For, for those that don't know, uh, because I am actually also an astronaut. Disclaimer, I'm not an astronaut. So there are no trees on Mars. Therefore, the only stuff that we can pick up is stuff that's on the ground. But all of these are rocks. And what we need... It oh, what is that? That's not... That looks like a vehicle. Are you a... Hmm. I don't know if I like the look of that. Okay. I thought that was going to be like some weird monster or something. Cool. Loot it. What is it? Nitrate. I will take it. Give me that. Oxygen canister. I will take that. Because um, in, the, in the... You can see in the bottom left corner, we have uh, an O2 meter. There you go. An O2 meter. Um, and that is obviously our oxygen, for, again, for those that aren't scientific, like myself. Um, and that will, that will start going down, so we need to make sure that we can always replenish our oxygen at any point. Um, which is a bit of a pain, to be honest. I was watching some other people playing it, and uh, it, it seemed to be a little bit frustrating. But I think it's probably easy once you know where to get the oxygen. Which I don't know where, so that's always a good start. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to run around, we're going to pick up a load of stuff from the ground. Uh, which I still can't find. Uh, and then we're going to try and sort of make uh, make our way into like guns and things like that. So that we can start defending ourselves against other players. Because I know for a fact that this game is going to be very kill on sighty. Oh, okay. So this is the oxygen outlet thing. Well, that doesn't seem too bad. It's just like find the big pipes and run along them and find an oxygen thing. That seems all right. There's probably an even easier way to do it once you have like a base and stuff. But this... Oh, my God. I can't get over how cool it looks, man. Oh, 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 oh. I don't know what that is. Use mobile printer. Pack up. I'm going to take it. I think I just stole somebody's mobile printer. Do I have two now? Yeah, we definitely took someone's mobile printer. Okay. Well, that's okay because that means that we can... Oh, hold on. We can build ourselves a base and also have a mobile printer. Whoa. Alright, is it just me or does this whole building kind of stink of death? Oh. Oh, look! There! Oh! 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 Okay, okay, okay. Getting shot at by a weird spider creature. Great. That's exactly what I wanted. Alright, let's go in here. I'm sure it's safe. Oh, God! No, it's not. It's alright there. You guys saw that? Yeah, I saw that too. I wonder if I can punch it. Come here, you! Ah! 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 Okay, I don't know if you're... Oh, you look hurt! I don't know how I figured that, but uh, you kind of do. Okay, so the cracks on the helmet are like our health, basically. Um, or, in fact, they're, they're not. That was a complete lie. The uh, In the bottom right corner, we've got a HUD there. Oh, he's come out of the door! Oop! Okay, okay, this is, this is bad. This is very, very bad. Oh my god, there are so many of these spider things everywhere. Okay, so we were right. That That is pure death. Um, that is that is just simple, pure death right there. Uh, why don't we make ourselves a gun or, or something that, that can help defend us a, a little bit at least? So what we're going to do, we're going to get our mobile 3D printer that we stole. Uh, and we're going to chuck it down just here. So this is how we craft things in this game. So we go into it by pressing F. And you can see we're able to just start making stuff. Now we do also have like a skill tree. Which I haven't really worked out at the moment. So um, we need we need f something called flops. That's what we need. I don't know how to get that. And we're doing some very strange hand dancey thing as well. See, I haven't quite figured that out just yet, um, but it doesn't matter too much because at the moment, it, I think all we're trying to do is just, like, craft a bit of iron. And then hopefully we should be able to just craft bullets with the iron. 
Yeah. So these these bullets will go into this gun that we picked up, which is just a sort of base gun, if you like. So we now have a gun. And this is what I was saying about it's sort of quite a fast-paced game, because you start off straight away with a gun. Now, it's not a very good gun. I'm not saying that, hey, like, I'm invincible and now I've got a gun, because I'm really, really not. Um, but it's, it's at least a start. I'm not running around with a spear trying to kill robot spider things. Uh, so it would be good if we could get a worker's chest as well. The dry ration is fine and all of that. So we can also make the wraith quite easily too. Um, okay. So I'm going to leave that there for now. We're going to grab some more iron. And nitrate and stuff. And then we're going to make a... We're going to try and make a, a, a chest piece so that we're a little bit more... What was that? Oh, it's right there. Die! Die, you evil little robot spider! God, I need to learn how to shoot. Oh, we got it! Yeah! Press F to loot. Added nine flops to... Oh, okay! So it is kind of about killing stuff then. Right, got it. So yeah, we, we quite literally have to go around and kill things. Um, otherwise, we don't get flops. And flops are extremely important. <laughs> Can't keep a straight face while saying that word. Okay, well, as we have to kill things, I'm kind of thinking that it would be a good idea to go in here, like in into these basey bits, and try and shoot the little spiders to get some flops. Oh, oh, I didn't even see it there. Come on, kill it. Did you get it? You got it, man. All right. Now we just gotta hope there's not another one around. Definitely is. I don't know where it is. Okay, well, it's definitely there, isn't it? Oh, God. Oh, God, it's fast. Get away from me! Yeah! Let's, let's loot this. Can I loot you? Did I already loot you? Why can't I loot you? Hello? Oh, I can loot you. Ten flops! Oh, I love flops. So, I don't know if these places have, like, more interesting stuff in them to, to loot or anything. Like, this kind of looks like an air hockey table. That's kind of cool. I like that they played air hockey in On Mars, even. Am I being shot at again? Yes. Yeah. Oh, God! Oh. I don't know if I want to fight that one. Oh, God! I don't think I have a choice. Did you die? You did die. Okay, good. Let's take your flops as well. I love this. I'm just collecting so many flops. Wait, can other people steal my flops? I hope they can't. I hope they can't steal them my, my flops. Oh, wow. Oh, he's not being too smart at the moment. Got him. This is good. We got one down. We got one down. Oh, I thought he was dead. That was me that made the noise. Oh, no. Okay, bad times, bad times, bad times. Right, okay, so we've got... Oh, they can steal my flops. Oh, that sucks. I don't want people to steal my flops. I'm almost pleased that we haven't found other players just yet, you know? I, I don't feel ready for it. Okay. We need to use a dry ration. Yeah, e eat it. I don't know why, but I that's kind of cool. Like, that's a cool animation. I like that. Right. Uh, the only thing is we don't have any other food. So that's a little, uh, slightly worrying, right? Um, where's the map? Where are we? Okay. Uh, we're going to see what we can what we can craft here. So I'm going to chuck this back down as, as well, because it seems like we're in a safe, relatively safe place at least. Uh, so we've got a load of iron that we can do so iron is obviously always important so we'll just do 10 we'll get 10 ingots going um, what else can we actually do here uh, maybe we should also do one of these just so that we've got some chest protection that seems like a smart plan so there's a big spire thing over here and I think these these things are kind of like public events but obviously you kind of need to be careful if you're going near them because um, there's going to be a lot of other players there, and they're probably going to kill you. Considering it's PvP, it's what I would do. If anyone didn't do it to me, I'd be shocked. There's also someone's base there. I wonder if there's a way I could get in. 
Uh, I fully expect to be absolutely annihilated here, by the way. Uh, I have 15 bullets. Whoever has this big base, I'm sure has a lot more bullets. And probably an assault rifle as well. Maybe if we can't get in it, we can just take all the resources around it just to annoy him. Whoa! Good God, that scared me so much! That was terrifying. He just opened his door and he was like, BOOM! Okay, I don't know. I don't really want to die. That's the thing. Like, we... I know we haven't progressed incredibly well, but we have progressed better than normal. I only got one more bullet left, man. I kind of feel like he's got an unfair advantage here. Maybe we'll come back to this. Oh, God. Yep, that hurt a lot. That that was real, real painful. Like, that was that was a lot of pain in, in a short space of time. Okay, so we're in a place. We're in a place on Mars that I have deemed to be relatively, completely not safe. Um, however, there's not really a lot I can do. I keep moving my mouse around so I can check to see this, make sure there's no other players around. Um, however, I would, well, okay, what are you pointing that gun at, man? Point it somewhere else. There you go, right. Uh, so what I'm thinking is we look at the skill tree, because at the moment, I'm really, really confused. Um, uh, all of them actually cost quite a lot, but what I want to be able to do is start building things, you know? So a foundation costs 30 flops. So I've got to go out and do a lot of killing, you know, and and this is maybe this is the only thing that is a little bit eh to me is that I have to go out and kill so many things before I can build a base. And I, I want to be able to build a base myself. Um, and I kind of I suppose I understand um, like it does get you into action quick. And I, I like that about the game, but at the same time, it's a little bit like, um, I, I wanna, I, I like, so I like survival games because I can make my own home and I, when I get in trouble, I can run back to my home and I feel safe. Whereas with this, I, I have to progress, it seems I have to progress quite a lot to be able to build a base. Other people have done it, it can't be that hard. Like, I'm not saying this is, oh my god, this is an outrage. Um, but I'm just kind of pointing it out as a, as a thing, you know? What about other skill trees? Can we... Like, are there weapons and stuff? I'm sure there must be. Survivalist. Holy God, man! Okay, so there's definitely, definitely things... Oh, survival points. Oh, okay. So... Your flops only help you with the technician thing, skill tree and the architect skill tree. Whereas you have different survival points for survivalist. Which kind of makes sense. I, I kind of get that. Oh, wait. Tooling. Dude, that's what we need. I should have grabbed that. No, it's not. Welding tool. Dismantle structures. No, I don't want that. I want a pulse excavator. We're going to have to go and kill loads of things. And I'm hungry and I don't know how to make food. There's got to be, in fact, there's got to be a way for us to make food. Surely there's a way for us to make food. What we need is biomass. And I don't know how to get that. I know, I know, I know. Stop beeping at me. I know what we need. Don't worry about it. Well, you might you might want to worry, but to be honest, you probably do want to worry about it. Because I, I don't know what I'm doing. Matt, does this really happen in space? Like, if I went to Mars and I got hungry, would my helmet start cracking? It's almost lights out, guys, and I've only just got to the building. This is clearly, clearly not meant for me. Uh, oh, I'm not even at the building. Uh, call elevator. Come on, I'm almost about to die. That's it. Open up for me. Thank you. Activate. Up we go. At least it's not making too much noise to attract everybody to our whereabouts. Uh. Oh, I'm unconscious. Hold F to increase blood loss. Respawn. Ugh. 
Those were really like graphic uh, sounds there. Right, okay. So we, oh, oh, that's not too bad. We died there, so we can spawn at the east. Okay, we're pretty much there. So as long as no one has stolen our stuff, let's take all of that good. Oh, God! Can I reload? Oh, man, no, 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 stop shooting me, man. Stop shooting me. Ah, stupid spider! Right. Now, I have a feeling that this, this can only be bad news in here. What are you? Uh, weird robot scorpion spider things? Are you in here? What's this? Acid. Uh, okay. Uh, cool. Yeah. Yeah, I, I wanted that. Oh, there's a welding tool here. Oh, and I've got more flops. I love flops. Well, there's another room down here. Seems perfectly unsafe, so uh, we're going to do it. Okay, what's in here? What's in here? What's in here? Stuff? Yes, loot it. Take it all. Good. This is what we want. Okay. Trying real, real hard. Oh, no. There's a spider in here. There are lots of spiders in here! Oh, God! My God, everywhere on Mars is so hostile. Why we want to go there, I have no idea. So this is a lab. That's cool. I like this, but I'm scared that there are lots of other things around me. Uh, let's let's have a little hide in here. That's the one. Let's we're gonna hide in here. And again, stop pointing that gun at me. Right. Okay. So uh, we should have decent flops. Uh, let's go skill tree. Let's go this one. And we're gonna purchase this because it's a pulse excavator which we can make. Uh, I don't know how. Don't know how we're gonna make it, but we are gonna make it somehow. Well, there's an invisible one there as well. Oh my god, they're all coming in here. Okay, guys. This is the real deal now. No missing. Okay, miss twice. Okay, never mind. Right, and then. Oh. Stop moving. Alright, one down. Good. Stop coming near me. Okay, good. Uh, well, now, um, now we'll just go up here and, uh, hope that we figure out the aluminium. You know what this reminds me of? It reminds me of Prey, except sort of like open world and survival. It's like what I wanted Prey to be, I suppose. Um, so that's kind of, I, yeah, I'm glad I thought of that. Because I was, it was kind of niggling me, like, what is this game like? Um, and how would you, like, explain it to somebody? Oh, Interact with Memory Backup Center. Memory backups are limited in storage and will preserve 10% of your current progress to be accessed at a later date. It is possible to update your total at any time using the Memory Lab. You currently have zero flops stored. Storing now will set this value to 15 flops. Why would I need to do that, though? I guess? Sure? Right. So this this comes in with um, with the whole uh, seasons system that they've got going on. So as much as I understand it, um, the game is working in in seasons. So it's going to wipe every. I don't know how long it is. I don't know if it's a month or two months or three months. It's it's probably one of them. It's probably one or three months. Um, but it's not going to wipe everything. It's going to wipe like your inventory and things like that. But it's not going to wipe. I think your skill progression. Uh, and your flops, so you can you can upload your flops into that, I think, and then you can download it into the next season. So I guess the more flops you get, maybe you upload as many as you possibly can, and then you start the next season at a, a sort of better state, potentially. You can also make a capsule as well, which you can, uh, it says that you can dig it up in the next season, uh, and you put a load of things in that capsule, and it just... It, uh, you know, you, again, save that for the next season as well. Um, which is kind of a cool mechanic. I, I don't... I'm sort of in two minds about that particular mechan mechanic. But I, I understand why they're doing it. And I like that they're trying to sort of deviate away from the standard survival games where you get, like, tons of alpha tribes. And it's just like, oh, my God, we own the server. Um, and you can't get a, get a look in because, you know, you, you have a life. 
But I think we're probably going to call it there. Like, um, I know that we haven't sort of done base building or anything like that. I think I'm going to need to gather some more resources and find out where to get aluminium. Uh, I'm going to do a load of research so that we can actually figure some stuff out. Uh, because I, I do really like the game. I like how quick it is to just get into some action. Um, and I'd like to be able to do some PvP as well. But at the same time, I don't like losing all my things. So, um, who knows? We'll see what happens. It's cool. I recommend doing it. Uh, maybe don't listen to the reviews on Steam right now. They seem to be, um, pretty negative. And when I say don't listen, I, I mean, I mean read them, you know, and, and make your own judgment on it. But they are getting some, some stick on Steam at the moment, which, um, is unfortunate. Because I think it's, it's perfectly fine. Um, I think there was some server issues and stuff, which got them initial flack. And then, I don't know, some, some things happened. But that's what I think. Um, if you guys like survival games and you like space, you'll probably like this, particularly if you enjoyed things like Prey. Um, but anyway, this isn't a review, so I don't know why we're going into things like this. Anyway, that's the end of the episode, so thank you so much for watching. If you liked the video, push your face up against the like button, comment, and subscribe. And we'll see you in the next episode!